I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ uh, to all of you. Please invite your friends. And today we have a new topic and it is going to be interesting. First of all, I want to say thank you for not supporting us in every way and every mean. You know, I mean, if uh, if my videos is made by Muslims, they will have millions of you. But as usual, Christians, they don't really care. Uh, they are, you know, relaxing people, very relaxing. Today our topic is what is the strongest proof that the Quran is from God? Sorry, my voice is not good. What is the strongest proof Muslims have? This is the question the Muslims they post in the internet and they have many articles about it and videos. Each one of them is good enough to make any fool believe in Islam. But again, those things work with the fools. But as you know, today we are in the earth which is full of fools. You know, if I say maybe 80% of the population of this earth is a bunch of fools, I'm not exaggerating. You know, we are in a time where uh, Nobody want to really study, nobody want to search. Uh, everybody is uh, politically correct. Uh, everybody is fake. Uh, nobody even dare to say things he believe in. You know, they just say what, what the community like to say. You, know, you have to say what they like you to say. You can't even speak your mind about a virus or a disease. or You, know, you don't dare because they will mute you, they will silence you. You can't say in what you believe. You can't say uh, uh, your own opinion. You have to say their own, their opinion. And you know, it's like a cattle. Human today, they are like cattle, a bunch of goats. But for sure, not everybody is the same. There is always brave people who can, they are willing to say the truth. And that's what we do here. My Skype is open and I have an open challenge for every Mohammedan in this earth. To show me one proof or any proof that the Quran is from God. You see, I believe that the Quran is from Allah. There's no question about that. I mean, Allah has many names Muhammad, Satan, Devil, you know. I saw a video <clears throat> made by Muhammadan, and actually, the title is The Strongest you know, Proof That uh, the Quran is from Allah. And the funny is, in the video, the guy he says, Well, the Shaitan. Uh, the Quran attacking the shaitan, you know, the shaitan will deceive you, the shaitan will lie to you, uh, the shaitan will, uh, you know, like as an example here, uh, chapter of, uh, 4 verse 119, look what the shaitan will do, so the, if the Quran is written by shaitan, you know, how Allah says Allah cursed the shaitan, 
how Allah he says shaitan will mislead you uh, etc so this is the strongest proof but all of us we knew if we go in the Bible and this you do not even need to go to the Bible but you know just to confirm as a, for us as a Christian but for you maybe you are an atheist or a Hindu or a Buddha you know that there's all liars who they want to deceive you they will not tell you we are deceiving you if somebody want to take your bank account he will not tell you I'm going to do so if somebody want to jump in your house steal your, your wife jewelries he will not give you a phone call says I'm coming to take your wife uh, jewelries if somebody want to rape your daughter he will not give her a warning in advance so she will not leave at night from her house all liars they are the same and all of them they cover themselves and usually they play angels in Matthew 7 15 it says be aware of false prophet which come to you in a sheep clothing but for sure they are wolves Muhammad in the beginning he was coming in a sheep clothing so he said Christian Jews Sabi and everybody go to heaven everybody as soon as he got his own army suddenly everybody have to die but still this is not really a proof that Muhammad is a wolf in a sheep clothing now the Muslim they in their video they say the Prophet he did marry a child this is what the Christian they say and they say at that time this is was very normal I don't know which which time is that but if you are comparing your Prophet to perverted people that is a good thing to do the question is why somebody in the age of 54 he is interested in someone she is not even six years old age what he found in her but still this one is not really a proof that the Quran is not from Allah because maybe Muhammad is a filthy person but Allah is a good person still that will not prove anything but if we go back to the verse the Muslim they use that shaitan he will deceive you we will find that the Quran the same Quran saying the same thing about Allah let me show you this verse chapter 6 verse number 43 the shaitan he made fair seeming to them that which they used to do if we change the translation here the word fair seeming is really weird I mean uh, let us use different donkey yesterday we have a new Quran it's called the clear Quran which is more stupid than the one is not clear and after we read the clear Quran we find that the Quran the guy who uh, AJ yesterday he called us two days ago uh, he asked me to read the, the clear Quran if you remember and then in the clear Quran he agreed that the Quran have contradictions correct yeah it's recorded it's in, in the previous video but anyway who watch nobody watch when uh, here it says uh, same it looked like those people they, they are copying from each other and Satan made their sinful act seem alluring to them hmm, okay so what the verse saying that shaitan he make their sin sound nice so shaitan will make you believe that sin is nice okay it has opened the Quran actually you know what I'm going to copy the same the same word look at this just to show you hmm? I will copy it we will open the Quran and I will search here in the front of you and then we will find it's taking a while for to come okay verse number 643 it says that shaitan he decorated for them their sin to make it look nice uh, chapter 16 verse number 63 saying the same that shaitan decorate for you things to make you you know believe in it okay uh, chapter 27 verse number 4 it turned that the one who deceive you and make you believe that sin is good is Allah read with me chapter again 27 verse number 4 verily those who believe not in the hereafter we have made we have made their deeds 
fair seam into them. <laughs> Do you see it? <laughs> it's exactly the same translation the Muslim they use in the other verse, fair seeming. So Shaitan he make your act when you are sinner fair seeming. Allah he make your act fair seeming. Do you see it? Muhammadan, do you see it? Allah. I, I, will, I will try to use the same translate, translation. This is this is uh, Hilali and Khan. So I will go to the previous uh, uh, verse. Okay. And I will show the translator, the same translator. So Muslim will not say, um, you know. Okay. Here we go. This is a chapter 6, verse number 43. Let us take a screenshot. And let, actually, let us make a mark first before we take a green screenshot. So Satan, he made their sin fair seeming to them. Okay. So we take a screenshot now. And again, this is chapter 6, verse number 43. All right, and now we go to the other verse, which is about Allah. Allah do exactly the same. Allah make your sin fair seeming to you. Here we go. Let us open the screenshot and put it next to this one. And you will see in a second that Allah and Shaitan, they are the same. There's no different. Here we go. Both they will make sin fair seeming to you. Any Muslim have an objection? Any Muslim want to say I'm lying? Any Muslim will say this is not true? Let us move it, make the window bigger. Fair seeming, fair seeming. Both, they make your sin for you, fair seeming. Hello? Hello? This guy, he called me and he put me in hold. Actually, take a hike. Do we have any Muslim? Do you see how easy to prove that the shaitan is the same as Allah? Both of them, they make your bad deeds the bad deeds here is your sin. Fair seeming to you. And the verse, the second, the, the, the verse in, in chapter 27, verse 4, it's even more evil. It says Allah will make you blind. So Allah will make you believe that your evil is a fair seeming. Shaitan will make you believe that your evil is a fair seeming. Any Muslim have an objection? Any Muslim want to say to me, you're lying? It doesn't say that, CP. Anyone? Do we have any Muhammadan? How this is can be a book of God? Shaitan and Allah, they are totally in agreement in making your sin fair seeming. Any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan? How come both of them, they are in total agreement in the target, which is us doing bad things and committing sin? How come both of them, they make to us our sin for seeming?
anyone. Yeah, and this is the funny thing about Mustanus, they go and make video and say it doesn't say that CP. You can open the interpretation. I mean, the verse is so clear. You see, the, the stupid thing about this book, the Muslim, they can't understand the book of Allah. And then you ask yourself, if this book is written by God, how come he cannot make it clear? <laughs> you know, it is possible that a book written by a human, it might be not clear because the writer is a human. He is limited in the way he can explain. Then the Muslim, they say to us, oh, you cannot understand the Quran by yourself. You have to read the interpretation. Then we go and read the interpretation. And then when we read it, they say to us, oh, this interpretation is made by human. <laughs> So they could not understand the stupidity of their stupid God. And then they ask you to read the stupid uh, uh, scholar. And the second we start reading the scholar, they say the scholar is a human. We don't accept what the scholar is saying. We go only by the Quran because they don't like what he said. Deception is a way of life in this cult. Like yes, two days ago when we have this guy, AJ, First, we showed him the verse here in the Quran. He said, no, I want it from the clear Quran. We show it from the clear Quran. Now he says, doesn't make sense. That translation doesn't make sense. Who, what's, my, what's my business? Sneaky little popcorn guy jumping. You know, when you make popcorn, you know, like they start jumping. This is what he was doing. He touched the pot and he jumped and he touched and he jumped and he, he's trying to escape. And then at the end, he agreed that the Quran is a book of contradiction. And then he went, as they told me in the chat, they told me he went to Ali to, to this Dawa the channel, the one the ones who say that the word soul mean the male member. So from now on, I'm going to call the uh, e Dawa channel the penis channel. They are the only one in the world who believe that the word soul mean the male member. Uh huh. Their prophet says it's the backbone. The Quran translation is saying the backbone. But in the Dawasa channel, brother, the word soul means penis. May Allah penis you. So all of those kids, they cannot refute a, a very simple thing. I mean, how come Allah and Shaitan, they have the same target? Both of them, they make our sin fair seeming to us. Who is the one who made those who believe not in hereafter make them believe that their deed is good Allah read it who is the one who do the same for humanity shaitan read it this is something written in the same book not in different book this is not like uh, one verse written by a Christian Prince the other verse written by Muhammad those both are supposedly coming from one idiot his name is Muhammad which is not his real name as we know then let us forget about this. And by the way, those who make videos, you can make just a video about this topic alone. Bingo, you know. So you make a video five minutes. Don't tell me that I'm making my video short. You can cut them off pieces. And this is a topic by itself. Now, uh, you know, I will give the Muslims a chance. And as you see, I have my Skype open. And as I said before, anyone who says to me, hi, and add me, I will block you. You are being silly. Those people who do that, they are like children. They have no brain. We keep repeating. And secondly, why you want to say to me, hi, anyway, am I your friend? We used to be in the army together. What hi for? Once there was a guy, he is a congressman. He keep going... You know, he saw me in a in a like an occasion. He said, "I saw you before. Where I saw you before? I told him no, he never saw me before. The guy he insisted, he saw me before. I said no, he did not see me before. We went out in the yard drinking tea, coffee. He's again in front of the people. He said, I saw you before, so I want to get rid of him. So I said, now I remember we used to be in jail together. Ah, you you know. He said, no, 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 I don't know you. <laughs> I mean, I told you 100 times, don't say hi to me. I'm not interested. You did not see me before. He insists. The second I said to him, I never been in jail. I mean, I actually, I've been in the military jail. In jail. Yeah, but uh, 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 
uh, but not in jail for any crime. I've been in jail because I shot at some thieves because, you know, I disobeyed the orders of the army, you know, using their guns. Anyway, so uh, this is how some people are. We keep saying, I am not here to say hello, how are you doing? Don't add me in Skype. This is only for Muslims to call me. Even Muslims who want to talk to me by chat, not welcome. You want to call me, you are welcome. All right. So. If you are interested, text me in Skype, say I'm a Muslim, I will call you. You cannot call me, I have to call you. Unless you call me before, that will open the call between us. Or maybe you send me a text and I answer you back to, take, to, to call. Then we go in the internet and we search for uh, the strongest proof. So I search in Prophet Google, peace upon him. What is the scientific proof that the Quran is the word of Allah? And here, you know, I find it very funny and very stupid to say scientific proof. You know, is it scientific? The Quran agreed that Jesus is son of Mary and she have no husband. Is that scientific? I mean, this is, you know. So you must them believe in scientific or scientific. So, but but because this religion is a hypocrite religion and they are bankrupt, they are desperate. And this is why I put the picture of that guy Harun Yahya. He is the one behind scientific and science in the Quran. You know, the, this perverted man who have just belly dancers around him. He used to have a program and he received millions of dollars donations from Muhammad and around the world. He is the first one who came with scientific. Uh, uh, you know, scientific proof. So, what is scientific proof of the Quran? Is the word of Allah. Sayyid Yazidi said, oh, there is several, okay, reasons that the Holy Quran is the word of God. Okay, let us see. Let me say two of them. Thank you. Just two. He will not, he will not like, just two. Miraculous aspect of the Quran showing that the book, this book, receive by uh, uh, received from God to explain more I should say Muslim believe that the Quran is a timelines miracle various features or future future futures such as the terms of its words it terms it terms in terms of content and in terms of bringer I don't know what does that mean anyone understand let's go also we can count the scientific miracle as one of them for an example, paying attention to the first verse, chapter 75, make you make us realize that the fingertips were mentioned 14 centuries ago. What? what? Before the, I think you want to say the fingerprint. You want to say the fingerprint not fingertips but by mistake he said the truth <laughs> he wanted to say fingerprint because if we go now we search fingerprint in the Quran we will find it says that the, the verse says that Allah he predicted the fingerprint and he speak about fingerprint but he by mistake he said the truth it says fingertips so what fingertips had to do with the, with the fingerprint and not only that, actually, the fingertips here, it doesn't even, uh, not even close to the word in, in the Quran. It says that Allah will put the bones together. Not even, there is no skin. If we go to the verse, we will see. Okay. We are typing in English again. Fingertips, huh? Yeah. Fingertips. And fingerprint. Let us go to the fingertips. Did he say, hold on, what, what verse he said? He said, fourth 
verse of chapter 75 or the verse chapter 75 okay 75 yeah this is the correct one where is where is the fingerprint here anyone can tell me who can show me the fingerprint here Allah is saying we are going are we going to assemble the bones read it you see the Muslims what they do because they are followers of a liar they don't mention to you the verse before it because the verse after it we might confuse you Allah is speaking about he will assemble the bones the, the bones of what even his finger even his finger bones we are going to assemble them that's all there's no fingerprint there is no finger potato there's no finger potato tomato so do you see how, how, how they lie? If I type right now, let us do this, hold on, give me a second. Quran fingerprint. Chapter 75, verse number 3 and 4. The unbelievers ask that how will Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be able to reassemble our bones? Allah says, we can not only reassemble the bones, we can even reconstruct in perfect order the very fingertips. When the unbelievers say, after we are buried, after our bones have got disintegrated, how will Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment reassemble our bones? So Allah says, he will not only be able to reassemble the bones, he can even reconstruct your very fingertip in perfect order. It's referring to the fingerprinting method, which was discovered by Sir Francis Gold. This is referring to the fingerprint. Guys, anybody can help me how in the world this is referred for the fingerprint? Allah will assemble the bones of the finger and that is referring to the fingerprint. I mean, the guy, he just said the bones. He himself, he just said, will assemble the bones. Do you see how desperate it is? And the stupid who is saying Islam and Christianity is bad. Well, if not the Christianity, you, you coward, you will not have a human right. If not the Christianity, you will not be exist. If not the Christianity, you will be a slave of Muhammad. We are the one who stop them, and we are the one who defend you, and now we are the one who give you right to be even an atheist. Coward son of Muta. If not a Christianity, Muslims will be slaving you right now. This is the truth. And this is why atheists and Muslims are in bed together. Because both they hate the truth. Who is the one who banned my videos on YouTube? YouTube. Who owns YouTube? We know. Who is the one who blocked my page in Facebook? Facebook. Who owns Facebook? We know. Who is the one who stopped my tweet in Twitter? Twitter. Who owns Twitter? We know. But they will never stop a Muslim. You both, you worship one Satan. In TV, they say, the atheist, that they support gays and lesbians. But when it's come to support, really, they support the devil Muhammad. The most hypocrite people is the one who call themselves atheist. And you are no better than them. Liar to your bones. So you see here an example of the lying. Even if you open the interpretation for their own books, it says it clearly, Allah will put the bones together. And he himself, he said the word bones. So how in the world the word bones became fingerprint? Can't Allah change the word and say fingerprint? Why Allah did not say the word fingerprint? Cowards, liars, desperate, bankrupt. Give us another reason.
Actually, if you want me to open the interpretation, by the way, I can open it for you. That's very easy. We can do it. Just to show you, this is not our statement. Because maybe it means what he's saying. Maybe. Let us see. Maybe. You know. Maybe this Christian prince, he don't want you to see the truth. Maybe. But is it really what they're saying? They are a bunch of liars. And here you notice that the one who lie about his God words, he must be following Satan. Assembling them. Okay, they say, yes, indeed, we shall assemble them. We are able to addition to assemble them. Okay, reshape them. Okay, finger, blah, 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 restore the, their bones. Just they had been despite their smallest. So what the Quran is saying, that Allah will assemble the bones of a human being, even the smallest. You know, people, they see that bodies. Muhammad especially is a killer. He's a butcher. So even the small bones of the finger, Allah will put them together. That's all. There's no fingerprint. There's no potato. There's no science. None. None. Let us see maybe second proof. Until now, we don't see any Muslim there to call. Be my witness. Then he says, at the time of the advent of the Prophet Muhammad, Arab people were stepped in adultery. Well, you Muslims, you kiss black stone, and you go around the stone, and you you pray in direction of a stone, and you, even when you go to shaitan, you throw a stone. The biggest sheikh of the Muslims today is a, is a terrorist, al Qaradawi, he says, Islam is a religion of a stone. We go, we pray to stone, we go around the stone, we kiss a stone, and we throw a stone. Take it or leave it. And this is one of the funny things about Muhammad, and they claim that they are not pagan. So if you are not pagan, why you kiss a stone? They say to you, don't you kiss your mother? Why the stone is your mother? Did the stone give birth to you? Ah, I forgot the stone is a, is a, is a vagina. Is the God of fertility. I heard from Muslims all kind of funny answers about why they kiss the stone. If you remember, even we have once live chat, I record it, and we post it on YouTube. And we did it here live. We asked the Muslim website, supposedly those people, they help you to convert to Islam. I said, I have a question. Why you Muslim kiss the black stone? He says, because it's holy. I said, why it's holy? They said, because the Prophet kiss it. I, why? I said, why the Prophet kiss it? They said, because it's holy. They didn't know even why they are kissing it. So why the stone is holy? Because the prophet kiss it. And why the prophet kiss it? Because it's holy. So which one come first? The chicken or the egg? They cannot explain to you the stupidity of this cult who claim to be monotheist. But in fact, it is the biggest pagan cult ever. They worship a guy, his name is Muhammad. They just burn a guy, just supposedly for insulting a, a, a man, his name is Muhammad. In the Middle East, you can go and say the F word to Allah. Nobody go after you. But you cannot say the F word to Muhammad. They say F Allah. We see a guy angry in the street saying F Allah. I shit on Allah. I do to Allah. Nobody, nobody get upset. But the second you say Muhammad, you are dead. For they worship, they are pagan. They worship a man. His name is Muhammad. Okay, then he said. So the Arab, they are adulterer, ignorance, and moral. Uh, they have a problem in moral. Uh, the Muhammad, he fixed the moral. Muhammad, the Arab, they used to do adoption. Muhammad, he fixed that. Why? Just because he want to have sex with the wife of his own son by adoption. The Arab, they used to have adoption. His wife, Khadija, she noticed that her husband cannot do any, any, any good in the bed. So they decide to have a boy because they cannot have sons. The woman, she married three husbands before Muhammad. All of them, they are good in bed, except Muhammad. So they decide to have a new, you know, you know ad adoption, because they give up. And remember, Muhammad at that time is still young, right? It's not really big, it's not old. So he adopted because he's merciful, obviously not. So he adopted the son, and then he married the son, supposedly his son, he married him to a woman. She is very pretty and very beautiful. And she is very white. Take note. They worship white women. 
if you see the videos of uh, Ridawa and Mimi Hijab and etc., they are make, speaking about the white wife of uh, what his name? Samir Abdullah, the ex-Muslim. Hmm? The white wife. They are obsessed. Very filthy. So they try to make you believe that Muhammad is against the revenge code. Muhammad is against the revenge code. Are you sure? Let us go to the Quran, potato. Let us see if the Quran teach revenge to kill and torture. Here we go. Chapter 9, verse number 14. Fight against them so that Allah will punish them by your hand and disgrace them and give you victory over them and heal the breast of the believing people. Heal the breast, the revenge. Wayashfi sudur. Your, your, your chest full of hate. Finally now you, you got your revenge. And the coward they say Islam is against revenge. Do you see how they lie? Why did Muhammad forgive the Jews or he killed them all? Did Muhammad for, you know, I mean, this guy, the Muslim, they will say to you, do you know that Muhammad, he forgave his people when he went to Quraysh? Those his cousins. Those his people. What he did to the people of Yathrib. The stupid Jews at that time, they took Muhammad in their town because they thought he is just against Christianity, as usual. You know, they hate Jesus, those rabbis. So they said, okay, well, Muhammad is just try, trying to start a new cult, maybe Christian cult. But as usual, Muhammad, he go in your house, then he kick you from your house, and then he kill you, and he take your wife. And this is exactly what he did to them. So those filthy rabbi, they welcome Muhammad to their town hoping that he is going to be the one who will destroy Christianity. But they never thought that he was going to switch upside or, or, or down on them. That's why you see Muhammad was so hypocrite to the Jews. He was trying to do his best to make them happy. And why not? He learned a lot from the Jews. Before he moved to Yathrib, he knew nothing about Judaism and Christianity. This is why if you go in the Hadith, you will see that the first time Muhammad, he ever have a fasting practice, he took it from the Jews. When he came to Ashura, he came to the, to the city of Yathrib. This is what they do. They take the city and then they change the name. So when he came to Yathrib, Muhammad, he found the Jews fasting. So he said to them, what is that? Why you are fasting? Uh, they say this is the day where Moses, he crossed the sea from the Pharaoh. Uh, let us see. And by the way, you will see a contradiction about this Ashura too. You know, everything is a, is a joke there. Where is the Hadith? Hmm. Read with me and laugh. Even Muhammad, he changed the date of the fasting just because he want to look different. He said when the God messenger fasted on the day of Ashura and command that it should be observed as a fast, he was told it was the day held to an honor of, by the Jews and Christian Christians. He said, okay, next year we will change it. We will not, go be, we will not do the 10th, we will do the 9th. Do you see it? But let us show you the story about Moses.
Where is the height about Moses? Here we go. Read carefully, and this is Al-Bukhari. When the Prophet, he come to the Medina, which is Yathrib, this is a fake name, he found the Jews who, the Jews who, the Jews, fasting on the day of Ashura, i.e. the 10th of Muharram. And they used to say, this is a great day, which Allah saved Moses and drowned the folk of the Pharaoh. Moses observed the fast on this day as a sign of gratitude to Allah. The Prophet says, huh, huh, okay, I am closest to Moses than you, to Moses. We will observe it too. And here you see that Muhammad is a fraud. Because isn't it the Jews are liars according to Islam? How he took the date from the Jews. Where is Allah? Why Allah? Did Allah told him to fast this day? Muhammad, he received the observation of fasting from who? From a rabbi? From a Jew walking by? So he saw the Jews fasting, he ordered them to fast. And not only that, Muhammad, he added more information. He says, the one who fasts this day, Allah will erase his sin a year before. But he just learned about it from the Jews. The potato, he just learned about it from the Jews. At that time, Muhammad is just looking to establish a religion. Let us see. Here we go. Read with me carefully and love. The Messenger of Allah said, was asked about observing a psalm, the fast of the uh, the tenth day of Muharram, which means Ashura. He said, it is an exception, ex ex exception of the sins of the preceding year. So if you fast this day, which he just learned from the Jews, he just learned it from the Jews. He did not receive it from Allah or from Jibreel. So how he come to the conclusion that if you fast this day, your sin will be forgiven for the last year. This guy, he come up with lies just to make them do it. Why they want to fast? He have to give them a reason. He's a fraud. He's a scumbag. He told them, oh, if you fast this day, it's going to erase the last year of sin. I mean, look how stupid this religion is. So if I commit sin all 365 days last year, every day I commit sin as you wish. And then I do what? I fast this day. I'm clean. Do you see how easy this, this garbage is? Do you see how easy it is? This is religion. He just learned from the Jews that they are fasting in this day. Suddenly, right away, this day became the day which is going to erase your sin. Even the Jews did not say that to him. So what is the strongest proof that Muhammad and Allah is God? Any Muslim can help us? As you see, this guy. And then Muhammad, he learned about Ramadan from the Sabian. So he, he told them, forget about this game. Look, look what happened. This day was the top notch day to fast. Muhammad, now he come with Ramadan. And then he told them, if you wish to fast it, fast it. If you don't wish to fast it, don't. So how come? What happened? This day erase all your sin for the last year. <laughs> Any Muhammadan? Where is the Ustaz of Indonesia? Guys, Indonesian people, did you contact the Ustaz? Did you tell them to why you don't debate Christian Prince? Where is the Ustaz? Any Ustaz? We found fingerprint in the Quran. 
let's go and see more uh, as long we don't have muslims to call us uh, okay so the fingerprint it turned to be a false thing what else uh, some example of scientific data data look i like the word data from the quran the earth and heaven were joined together okay huh? this is scientific data that the earth and the heaven were joined together and then they will say to you the big bang i mean do you see how stupid this is this even the title is a stupid stupid more than the one who wrote it the big bang don't believe that there was earth and there was heaven and then we separate them they don't believe in that the verse says the earth and the heaven they used to be joined together and abdul still they are joined together stupidity is amazing we are not separated from the heaven we are inside the heaven we are not even a dust in the heaven Stupidity is amazing. <laughs> Are we separated really? <laughs> and how in the world this is the Big Bang? You idiot, is it your God? He says that he created in the first day and the second day and the third day and the fifth day. And what's wrong with you Muslims? Anyone have a comment? Either you have a comment to be positive or give me a break and take a hike. Aren't you tired from this stupid book? Don't make a comment. I read the comment. You are wasting my vision for a, for a silly comment. I'm tired of you, not from the stupid book. I'm tired that I make videos and you Christians are fake. You don't share my videos. I'm tired to make videos and Muslims, they, they get a kid, he make a video, he get 20,000 in, in one day. I'm getting tired of fake people who claim that they are supporting me. Have not those disbelievers known that the heaven and the earth were joined together as one united peace. This is the Muslim translation. But the translation is not really even accurate. It says, Kanata Rutqan. Rutqan is stitches. They were stitched together, you know? Stitch. And you don't make a stitches between two things are one. Stitches, you know. The word rutuk, anyone can go and check that dictionary. Actually, if you change the translator right away, you will find how how the translation change. This is Hilarion Khan. Go to the other donkey. Do not the unbelievers see that the heaven and the earth were joined together as one unit creation before we loved them asunder? And look here what it says. Don't the unbelievers see? This is something they see. This is not unseen. This is not surprise. This is not we wait. He's, he's talking to people at that time. Don't they see? So the stupid Muhammad, he claimed that the earth and the heaven, they are separated. Why? Because we live on earth and heaven is up. So we are separated, but we are not. We are inside the space, little tiny piece of dust. Little tiny piece of dust. Secondly, As long as we are talking about how the earth is separated from the heaven. <clears throat> and they used to be together. And this is the Big Bang. If you go back here, you will see here the saying, it is the Big Bang. The Big Bang. Okay, you can read the whole article. But if we go back to the Quran, 
or to the hadith, you will see how Muhammad he got the Abdul busted. Easy. And not only the Quran itself is against what they are saying. Allah, He created the first day, Saturday, He created the dirt. Do you see it, Muslims? And this is Sahih. This is not a joke. You can't say to me, this is daif as usual and weak and this garbage you have. Allah the exalted, the glorious, the glorious, created the clay on Saturday. Okay. And he created the mountains in Sunday. Uh -huh. And he created the trees on Monday. Uh -huh. He created uh, the things in time and labor in, on Tuesday. And he created the light on Wednesday. Did you remember uh, the, that he was laughing when he was debating as a Christian uh, 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 minister? In his debate says, your God, he created this, the light in the sun in Wednesday. So the earth and the heaven, they was up without light for four days. <laughs> this is why I say, if you are not prepared yourself, knowing the garbage of Muhammad, don't debate Muslims until you are ready. Those people, they are going to do mockery. They don't debate. This is why none of those who debate Muslims until now, they understand them. When David Wood, he went to debate Mimi Hijab, he thought he was going to debate. It turned to be a mockery. And if you do not do a mockery, you will look like you are lost. It's a mockery. It is not a debate. For they are following the devil Muhammad. So as you see, they make a mockery in the Bible. But there is stupid prophet saying that Allah, he created the sun in Wednesday. You can go and watch the video of the that making fun of the Bible, which means he's making fun of his prophet. However, in our Bible, God, he said, let me light before he, he created the sun. Let be light and light was. So we have light. Creating the sun, the sun is one of many lights. Who said that the sun is the only light? But for us as a human in this earth, this is the major light we receive. But we receive billions of lights every second. Every single star in the space send light to us. Some of them it take many, many years for the light to come to us. Which means a light was sent from the star maybe 10 years is going to arrive now. But this is how they lie and they are waiting for a fool so they can fool him. Maybe you are a fool. And by the way, there's a lot of them, as we said. But if you look with me here, you remember two days ago, we, we have this guy, he called me AJ. And then we ask him, okay, chapter two in the Quran, it says Allah, he created everything first in earth. And then he went to heaven, right? He agreed. You remember? It's there, you can go watch it and love. So where is, where is the Big Bang? What happened to the Big Bang? According to the stupid Quran, everything was created in the earth. The earth is the first thing to create before. I mean, how he created the earth before he even he created the space. It is he who has created for you all things that on earth. And look at the first translation here, it says, moreover, he designed comprehended heaven. There is nowhere it says moreover. It says, and then, and you know, let us go to the clear Quran, which the guy he asked us to read yesterday. You remember the clear Quran? So this is the chapter 2, verse 29. We go to the clear Quran. <laughs> I like this clear Quran. This is the clear Quran, brother. This is the clear Quran. So now, if we go here, this is any clear Quran. Not this verse, hold on. Here, 
This is any clear Quran, chapter 2, verse 29. This is a, a, a tafsir al Hilali. This is any clear. So we will go to the clear Quran because the guy yesterday he insists he want the clear Quran. So we have to go and see the clear Quran, shall we? Okay, let's go. The clear Quran. Here we go. Let us see what the clear Quran will say. Hmm. It is he who created for you everything on earth, then where is no the more over? There's no more over. Then he turned to heaven and made them seven. So what big bang you Muslims are talking about? According to your Quran, chapter four, we have chapter 79 and chapter 41. Each one give give us different order. However, the Quran make it clear in one of the chapters that the last thing Allah created it was the stars. This, 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 the stars, the lamps. Huh? This is chapter 41. In chapter 41 is the opposite from what we just saw. Which one is, do you reject the one who created the earth in two days? Hmm. Okay. And he placed mountains, not stabilizers here. You see, it says stabilizer. I mean, the Muslim translation is the most weird ever. If you go here, if you go here chapter 41, let's see how, what, what they say about the stabilizer. 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 Look, here it's mountains. There is stabilizer. I'm telling you, when you read an Islamic translation, as if you are changing, the second you change the translation, you change the book. Where is the word stabilizer? Well, he is saying, he translated, it says Rawasi, something he laid on the top. But Rawasi means mountains. So Allah, he placed mountain above it. Is that scientifically correct? All of us, we knew that mountains is not created after the earth. Somebody put it in the top. Actually, the Quran, this is why the guy, he said the stabilizer, because uh, in different verse in the Quran, the stupid Muhammad, he claimed that Allah, he created the mountains so the earth will not shake on us. And for sure, the Muslim have an article about it saying, oh, this is scientifically correct. In fact, that areas who have mountains like Japan have an earthquake every second. And the mountains are exist coming from the ground, not from the top, because they have volcanoes. Like now we heard the news about a volcano in Indonesia. I hope people they are doing okay in those villages, poor villages. We pray for them. Those mountains there, this volcano is not somebody place it in the top of your land. It is coming from the ground up. So the stupid Muhammad is a stupid Muhammad. You cannot make a donkey a horse. Do we have any Muhammad that want to say anything? May they, may they. Do we have any Muhammad? I will not ask you any question. You tell me what you want to say. I will talk to you about what you want to tell me regarding, regarding what is the strongest proof that Quran is from God. Huh? What is the strongest proof that the Quran is from God? Any Muslim can tell us. And the funny, the Muslim, they say to you that the Arab at that time, they were amazed with the Quran. But the Arab, they were laughing at the Quran and the Quran witnessed to that. Each time we recite to them the Quran, they say this is the fairy tales of the ancient. It's in front of you. The Arab, they keep laughing at the Quran and the funny, the Quran says to them in return, well, if you can make one, I mean, imagine I am saying to you, this is a stupid book. You say to me, make, make one like it.
Is it true that Allah he sent down the Quran to the earth? Well, according to Muslims, Muhammad he received Quran by an angel. His name is Jibreel, not Gabriel. Jibreel, even the name is wrong. And this guy, he keep giving him verses. But Allah did not send a book. However, uh, if you go in the Quran, Muhammad even, he cannot, you see, this guy, he's just making things up. Allah, he keeps sending down. Okay, so Allah, he sent down to you what he sent to ones before you. What he sent? He sent a book. And actually here, look at this, Anzalna, Anzalna, Anzalna. This is all Anzalna. If you ask the Muslims, who is the one who made the Quran? They will say to you, no one. We say, is it Allah? They will say no. Then we say, if it is not Allah who made the Quran, and the Quran is not created, so where the Quran came from? They say from Allah. We just asked you, who is the one who made the Quran? You said not Allah. I mean, do you see the madness of this religion? If I go right now and search in Prophet Gogol, peace be upon him. Is the Quran created? Let us do that. Search on Google. I want to find you a Muslim official Islamic website. So Muslim will not say, oh, this is a guy he don't, you know. We're going to give you an official one. Hey, here we go. This is an official full of poopoo. This is islamweb.net. The Quran is a speech of Allah, but is not the created. Solve this problem for me. Okay, so if Allah did not create the Quran, and Allah, the Quran is a speech of Allah. So where Allah, he got the Quran from? So Allah, he is reading Quran, but he is not the one who made the Quran. So who is the author of the Quran then? The Muslim, they say to us, they keep saying to us, the author of the Quran is Allah. The second we say to them, who is the one who made the Quran? They say, Quran is not made. Can you believe it? A person who commits religious innovation in our area raised the following doubt about regarding the issue of the creation of the Quran. It is known that the universe contain either a creation, creator or a creation. So under what category should we classify the Quran? That's a good question. A Muslim using his brain. That's weird. Where are you coming from? A Muslim using his brain? That's wonderful. How I can answer him? Let us see the answer. All perfect is to Allah. Okay. The Lord of the world, I testify. I mean, you need to say all of this before you answer the guy. Hypocrites. The Quran is the speech of Allah. The Almighty is not the created. Like how? Now, now you solve the problem? The guy is asking you, saying, the whole world is either creator or creation. Creator or creation. So which category the Quran will go under? The answer is, the Quran is a speech of Allah, the Almighty, not the created. But this is not the question. If it's not a created, is it a creator? As approved by the Quran and the Sunnah, the prophetic tradition, and blah, 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 blah. What is the answer? 
the the uh, so is it is since it is one of the attribute of Allah the Almighty which are not created how the Quran is one of the attribute of the Allah look at this madness it's a speech of Allah the speech of Allah is attribute of Allah Is it created or not created? Hey, Zico. Zico, Zico. Is the Quran created or not created? As long as the Quran is not created, that means the Quran is God. Because the only one is not created is God. Now we have two and created according to Islam, Allah and the Quran. Is the Quran created by Allah? No. So where Allah got the Quran from? It's a speech of Allah. So what? I'm I'm reading Quran now. My speech now. And how you say it's a speech of Allah if Allah is not the one who created the speech? Are we following people? How you say it is the speech of Allah if Allah is not the, the one who created the speech? It's like Joe Biden when he read and you know, like he says in the of court. Why? Because they wrote it for him. Joe Biden is reading what the, the, he have a monitor in front of him. Huh? It says stop here, end of court. Now you time to go. The journalists are waiting like what? What he's saying? Stop here, end of court. Now you leave the room. That's Joe Biden. You Muslims, you have a God is a Joe Biden. If the Quran is a speech of Allah, but Allah is not the one who created the Quran. So how it is a speech of Allah if he is not the one who made the Quran? If he is not the one who made that speech, that means this is not his speech. Any Abdul? Anyone? And then they say to us, why people leave Islam after they speak to Christian prince? Well, your Quran is stupid, your religion is stupid, your belief is stupid. I mean, this is 100% stupidity, not only the promise of an endless penis, which is smart. I mean, all of us, we want to have endless penis. We can... You know, we can connect to the satellite for free. And that will make it faster to download the sperm. I mean, look at the genius prophet in this penis. And a vagina fit for it. I mean, the guy, he is ready for everything. He thought about everything. Not only the penis is in this, the vagina fit for it. Does that mean the vagina is in this too? Explain that to me. End of quote. Joe Biden. A person is a Muslim saying to me, CP, you dump. A amazing video. Why you don't call me my friend? And tell me why I am dumb. If the Quran is not created by Allah, how the Quran then is a speech of Allah if the speech is not made by Allah? How stupid this religion is? Who is the one who wrote the speech? If you say the one who made the speech is Allah, well, this is not what it says here. It says it's not created by Allah. And as long your name is amazing video, I have an amazing video for you. You want to see it? Watch this. This is the most amazing video ever you can imagine. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran is mentioned, if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we 
believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you brother at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified <laughs> and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. <laughs>
Nie zdaję się. Okay, take a hike. Do we have any Muslim? <coughs> Do we have any proud Muslim so we can teach him monotheism? None of you Muslims are monotheist. Additional to that, by the way, this monotheism, who cares if you are monotheism person or not? This is one of the Muslim uh, uh, big argument. They think by saying we are monotheist, that's a big deal. Well, those who worship shaitan, they are monotheist too. And we just showed you in the beginning of this video that Allah is shaitan. Shaitan he decorate for you your sin. Allah he decorate for your sin. And we show you the both both verses. Right? If Dawah have told their followers not to come, I mean Muslim don't listen to those kids anyway. I mean their sheikh when he go live, he don't even have 130 people listening to him. Zakir Naik, he don't even have 400. I open without even telling people. After half hour, I have a thousand two hundred people. Who care for those people? Muslims are here and they are listening. But put yourself in their shoes. Who they are to call me? Because the, he knew how it's going to end. He knew that he cannot defend the stupidity of Muhammad. He knew that. As simple as that. This potato is sending me a video. He is not a Muslim. Yeah, stupid people. I blocked you. Any Mohammedan? What is the proof that the Quran is from God? Is that the big boobs? Is that the errors in the Quran? Is that the vagina never been touched and used and abused? Is it the God who will make them virgin each time you open it? It is the God who who, who swear by the olive and the tea and, and the fig? What teen was Zaytun? What happened to your God? He stuck with two fruits? The God who swear by fig? He must have be a figgy God. Why Allah he swear by the fig? Any Muslim can tell us? Is that a miracle? Must be a miracle. Yeah, the Muslim, they will find it. They will find a reason, don't worry. They will find a reason. Allah, he is going to give you in the heaven the following fruits. What we will hit, we will get a brother. This is the fruit we will get in heaven, brother. <laughs> All right, maybe we have a Muslim. Let us see. <coughs> If you are Abdul, it's not working. Maybe his internet is horrible. I mean, this is like even not a Muslim. What's wrong with people? I keep saying to them, can I see if you are online or on air? I mean, what kind of a question is that? He's not even a Muslim. Hey, blocked you. This is why I don't like Skype. You know, Skype is a stupid program. There's no control of it. CP is lunatic. Lunatic. Ah. Ahmad, Samad, Ahmad, Ahmad. What lunatic mean? What brother? What what lunatic mean? Can you can you give us? Uh, can you elaborate? 
I want to learn from you some English. What lunatic mean? Do you know? Can you tell us more details so we can learn from you? You see, I'm a person who likes to learn. You know, I don't mind. You can say whatever you want about me. A lunatic person, according to the dictionary, is a mentally ill person. Mentally ill person. Well, let us check that out. See if it is me or your prophet is lunatic. Is it your prophet he ordered his wife to cover themselves when a blind man he come to visit his house? <laughs> Have you ever heard of a stupid thing like this before? The guy is a blind. He cannot see them. They can see him. They said to him, Prophet, but he's blind. He said, Are you blind too? <laughs> the genius prophet. The guy is a blind. He's what? He is a blind. Like what? He's a blind. Who is the lunatic? Blind. And this is Sahih Hadith. The guy is a blind. The blind man, Ibn Umm Kalthum, he came to visit the Prophet of Allah. The Prophet, he says, cover yourself, cover yourself. The, the wives, they said, but Prophet, he, 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 he is blind. The Prophet, because he's an idiot of the village, he don't want to say he's wrong. He don't want to say, sorry, I forgot he's a blonde. He don't want to apologize for being a donkey. He said, uh, okay, are you blind too? Who is the lunatic? Do you Muslim women cover yourself in the front of a blind man in the street? Do you Muslim women allow to see men with your eyes or not? What, why, what is this is about? This is the genius Muhammad. He don't want to admit that a woman, she is smart and he is an idiot. So he will now come with the excuse. Hey, are you blind too? Cover yourself, cover yourself. Your prophet, but he is dead. Okay, he is dead. Are you dead too? CP is a Christian. I don't know, Abdul Samad. You are a genius like your prophet. Actually, from your from your comment, I can tell that you are a for sure Muhammad follower. My name is a Christian prince. I must be a Hindu. The guy now is not busy about his prophet ordering his wives to cover themselves in front of a blind he is busy he's thinking hmm is a christian prince atheist i don't know hindu maybe because he keep reading the chapter of the cow hmm otherwise why he's talking too much about the cow hmm isn't it obvious? Just think about it. And I'm sure if we ask this guy, why you are a prophet, he called his... Uh, is it your prophet who called it this way or your Muslims choose a name? Why the Muslims choose a name for the, high, the biggest chapter in the Quran to be the cow chapter? Do you have an idea? By the way, this is a true story. Last time I went to have a debate with Zakir Naik, and Zakir Naik got me busted. He said, Christian Prince, do you remember Christian Prince? When you said to the Hindus, when you were in India, you said to them that, do you know that the biggest chapter in the Quran is the cow chapter? Do you remember what happened? Uh, he said, yeah. He said, tell them, tell them what happened. 
there's 10,000 Hindus converted to Islam. Just because I said the biggest chapter in the Quran is Takbir. I never heard of a God. He raised people from death by beating them by beef. You see why Jesus did not use beef to resurrect people from death? And what make it more funny, Allah in the Quran, he says, this is how Allah resurrect people from death. How? By beating them by beef. If you don't believe me, the Quran is in front of us. Call me. I will not hit you by beef. Trust me. It's expensive. I, you know, uh, it's not really cheap, especially with Joe Biden. You know the thing. Chapter 2, verse number 73, explain to you why the Quran, chapter of the cow called Al-Baqarah, which means the cow. Because Allah told Moses, you know, Moses, by the way, he liked beef. I heard that Moses, he, he don't like any, like, meat except beef. He's a, like, he was beefy guy, you know, like, you know, beef, beef, you know, like, you, you, you go to talk to Moses, you say, if you don't bring beef with you, I don't talk to you. Like, the, the first thing, you know, you want to talk to Moses, you have to bring, like, two kilograms of beef, you know. So the guy is dead, and they want to know who is who killed him. Not only dead, he was killed. The funny, by the way, the Muslim they say, this verse speak about heart massage. Like what the heck? The Muslim propaganda machine turned this funny verse to be a scientific of a heart massage. But the guy was killed by a sword. What heart massage, Abdul? Heart massage. And the guy was dead already. Let me show you, let me show you, just to show you how stupid this religion is, how they fabricate stories from the middle of nowhere. I will search in Prophet Google. Heart massage Quran. I'm typing in Arabic, but you know. Uh, let us type in English. Heart massage. What's that? This one, brother? Maybe this one. Let us see. Heart massage, heart massage, heart massage. I'm just trying to find the videos because, you know, as you know, they have tons of millions of videos. Let us search for article that will make it easier. Abdul articles. Did they take it down? Because I made a video about it before. Uh, let us see. Uh, it is here somewhere. Mountains, embryo, human development, Quran, iron. This is not here. Anyway, you can find it yourself. You know, they, they have tons of articles about it. Uh, heart massage, Quran, miracle. Uh, Maybe I should change the title, I don't know. But it's there, you can find it. 